let me set up for this one, and we might go over there and watch this one. Might be easier for us. But yesterday, what we released, John, is something called um, Adobe Arrow. I know. Okay, he knows all about it. <laughs> Allows you to create beautiful augmented reality experiences, bring in cool graphics, all that fun stuff. But what if you just want to like story bared out an, an augmented reality idea? Like literally draw on and, 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 and do that storyboarding and that sketching. That's what this next one is. It's called Project Pronto. Please welcome Kong Nguyen. Welcome. <laughs> Let's go over there because we'll be able to see yeah. it better. Is that OK? Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Very excited to be here. Let's say that I'm a designer and have recently designed a toy for a local candy shop. Here it is. Now, I like to take my toy and bring it to the next level by adding augmented reality to it. Maybe I want some AR text to pop up right here when customer view the top of my phone. Maybe I want to show some AR animation right here. But it's really hard to author these AR experiences. You see, I can't even explain them to you using words. I need a quick way to mock up AR design ideas to get my points across. Turn out I can use After Effects to do that. It allows me to take a video and turn it into an AR mockup like this. It looks easy, but it's actually more time-consuming than I thought. I need to deal with camera tracking and timeline and 3D manipulation. Would it be cool if you could, can just sketch out your ideas directly in AR? Pronto is an application that can help you mock up design ideas by combining AR and video editing. Let's go back to my toy example. Remember I wanted to show some AR text here, and I want to play around with some gesture interaction? Today, we'll show you how I can mock up those complex design ideas using Pronto. But first, let me record a video of some of the interactions I want to mock up in AR, like this camera movement. Just recording or like a tap of my finger, or a pull gesture. All right, so now we have a video that recorded all the interactions I want to mock up in AR, like this camera movement. Now I like to add some text in AR that respond to this camera event. This is usually a complex task, but using Pronto, I can just move my device directly into the scene. You see, Pronto uses AR tracking to track my device and map its 3D position to the video that I recorded. This is great because now I can just use my device as a 3D controller, and I can place text and graphics anywhere I want in the video. Here's how I would do it. I would add a placeholder right here, take out my pen, pick a color that I like, and just quickly sketch out a text idea that I have. Let me adjust some timing, and there we have a mock-up of a classic AR effect. You move the camera and some text pop up. Thank you. Pronto also allows me to import graphics. Let's say I want to add some extra candies in here. Pro with Pronto, again, I can just use my device, put it in the scene. Sorry. Uh, I probably need to record the video again. Sorry about that. Doing great. Here we go. All right, so Again, I haven't grabbing. seen this tapping interaction yet. I also want to do a pull gesture. All right, so now. Uh, you know, you know things. One more time, tapping gesture, pulling. There we Thank go. Thank you. All right, so now let me add some this is the tracking. extra graphics in here. OK, with this placeholder, I can import some extra candies. <laughs> but I also want this to be an animated experience. You see, I captured some tapping interaction in here. It would be really cool if I could animate these candies right at this tapping moment in the video so that it looks like when I tap on the table, these candies kind of respond to that event. And using Pronto, again, I can just use my device as a 3D controller 
I can grab these candies and move them anywhere I want in 3D. And I can also report those movement as animation. Now let me adjust some timing. And there we have our second mock-up. I tap on the table and the candy started dancing. Good, nice. And lastly, for this pulling gesture, thank you. I have an idea where if I do a pull gesture like this, an AR banner would pop up and tell me more information about the toy. Again, using Pronto, I can just quickly add an AR banner right here by clicking Import. So here's a banner that one of the designers sent to me. Now, using Pronto, I can quickly mock up that AR pop-up effect as well. All right, let me adjust some timing. And there we have our last mock-up. Whoa. There we go. And so here's the video that I recorded. But this time the video has been loaded with all the all different AI experience that I mock up using Pronto. And you can mock up things like tapping, interaction, and pulling gesture to tell your ideas in AR. And that was Pronto. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Fantastic. Good work with us staring over your shoulder as well. Yeah, excellent. Thank so you. hopefully that makes sense, because he's able to actually just record with his device, right? Creates this video, and then he starts tracking the tilting of his device, kind of placing objects in that like 3D space to sketch up experiences. Oh, so the cupcake wasn't actually thinking about lollipops? Or... <laughs> it could have been. Oh, all right. I, I was impressed, but I did not fully <laughs> understand. Yeah, it gets kind of complex. That's why we had technology to... cut off his Teddy Ruxpin. That was the last time I understood. Got it. That was That's a uh, bear toy from the 80s <laughs> that you would put a cassette tape in. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> well, fantastic.